Heidi from Wife and Mom's Life, and today I am doing a collab with a few other ladies here on YouTube to do some fun holiday recipes. I am so excited to be teaming up with these ladies um, to share some yummy treats with you guys. A big shout out to Emily to, from Mama from Scratch for putting this collab together. Thank you so much. I will leave her video linked down below as well as all the other ladies joining in. Um, today I am sharing two recipes with you, naughty and nice recipes. So one is going to be a um, fun holiday treat, Christmas treat that I make every single year and everyone loves it. It's easy and quick to put together and tastes really good. There is nothing healthy about it, so that is my naughty treat. Then I am also going to be sharing, those are hazelnut pommiers. I'm also going to be sharing with you a nice treat, which is a sugar-free and dairy-free yummy hot chocolate recipe. So stick around and see those two fun recipes. For the pommiers, you will need puff pastry dough, Nutella, pecans or hazelnuts, and powdered sugar. The first thing you want to make sure is that your dough is thawed and you're taking it out from the refrigerator, not from the freezer. You want to lay out your dough onto some parchment paper, that way the dough doesn't stick to your surface. You're going to take about a third of the container. If you like extra chocolatey, you can take about half of the container and just spread an even layer of the Nutella spread onto your puff pastry dough. Um, this is gonna be the filling for your pommier, so you wanna make sure you got an even layer all the way around. Next, you're gonna take your chopped pecans and just sprinkle them all over the Nutella spread. The same way you got the Nutella spread all over the puff pastry, you wanna make sure that you have pecans throughout the whole layer of Nutella because you're going to be slicing these up, so you wanna make sure every pommier gets some bites of uh, pecans. After you sprinkle the pecans, you're going to take your puff pastry dough and start to roll each of the ends towards the center. That way it, each side is creating a spiral shape and you kind of want to press the two sides together. That way they kind of um, stay together when you bake it. Then you're going to take a sharp knife and slice the puff pastry dough. You could probably slice it into about 14 pieces depending on um, how wide your puff pastry dough is, but usually I get 12 to 14 pieces when I slice them. You're going to want to make sure your oven is preheated to 350 degrees. Once you've sliced the pommiers, you're going to lay them out on your parchment paper. You can use the same one you were using, that way you're not wasting, and you're just going to put those on the baking sheet and bake them for about 12 to 14 minutes. Once your pommiers have cooled for about 20 minutes, you're going to stick them in some powdered sugar and kind of just dust off the excess of the powdered sugar and let them set there. It kind of reminds me of snow, that powdered sugar, and I just love it. I hope you like these pommiers. They are such a hit whenever I make them. They are definitely a crowd pleaser. They're easy to make, but they seem a little bit fancier of a treat. For the hot cocoa recipe, you're going to need a third of a cup of a can of coconut milk, two thirds of a cup of almond milk or cashew milk, four teaspoons of Swerve sweetener, two teaspoons of cocoa powder, and about a quarter teaspoon of peppermint extract. You're going to add your almond or cashew milk and your coconut milk into a small pot and put that on medium heat. Then you're going to whisk in your coconut powder, your cocoa powder, and your swerve sweetener or whatever sweetener you decide to use. You're going to whisk that into the pot as well, into the milk mixture. Then once you bring that to a boil, uh, I let mine sit for about five minutes simmering once it was brought to a boil. Um, and I would whisk it from time to time just to make sure everything was mixing together. Mm -hmm. 
then you can go ahead and pour it into your mug of choice. I also went ahead and made a whipped cream. Um, I just refrigerated a can of another can of the coconut milk and um, I added some more of the sorb sweetener and I just blended it until it became thick and creamy like whipped cream and I added that and I also sprinkled a little bit of cocoa powder on top um, just to add a little something extra. You could also do cinnamon or um, some sugar-free peppermints. I hope you enjoyed the two recipes I shared with you. I hope you have a wonderful and Merry Christmas. And if you are checking new to my channel uh, from one of the other channels, welcome and please make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.